What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again bringing you guys a new Madden 25 Ultimate Team video and today I'm going to be answering one of the most common questions that I get asked in the comment section of almost every single video that I make. How do you make so many damn coins? Well guys, I'll be the first to tell you. The world of Madden Ultimate Team coin acquisitions is not glamorous. It is a grind of epic proportions. And if you think that you're going to get rich with some crazy hidden scheme that nobody knows about, I'm going to have to be a reality check right now because that's not going to happen. Even if something like that did exist, it's only a matter of time before EA finds out and shuts it down. And they've had no problems banning people and confiscating their mutt wallets in the past. So please don't be that guy. Don't be that douchebag. But if you guys want to be like the people that you see on YouTube who have well over a million coins and still have a really good team, you can do it. It just takes some patience. Now, before I get any further, I want to make sure that I point out to you guys that I have never spent a single penny on the Ultimate Team game mode here on Madden. But the dirty little secret about almost all of the big time mutt YouTubers that you see is that they've all spent hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on this game mode. Now it's worth pointing out of course that many of them have made their money back and then some in, in most of the cases from ad revenue and you know various different things like that on their videos so it's definitely worth it to them to put some money into the game to get some back and I'm not here to hate. I mean they're spending money to make money and any great businessman will tell you that that's the way to do things. But let's be honest here. Many of the people who are watching this video right now don't have hundreds of dollars to spend on Ultimate Team and that's where we begin today's video. One of the most common mistakes that people make in Madden Ultimate Team is that they get carried away with buying packs. Now whether it's pro packs or legendary packs or premium packs or draft packs or whatever it is. And I'm including myself in that assessment. We've all been there before. New cards come out and you just have to have it. But really, in all likelihood, you don't have to have it. And for a lot of people, they will spend their entire mutt wallet in search of or trying to collect one single card. And I'm telling you guys, if you think you're going to make a consistent profit by opening packs in this game, you are living in a dream world. The pack odds in this game are disgustingly bad, and you could spend 100,000 coins before you know it without opening anything of real value. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, occasionally you're going to get lucky and open something that's really worth a lot of coins. It actually happened to me pretty early on. I was actually in a stream with xryan915 and I opened up just one random pro pack when I was talking to him, and in it popped a 99 Ed Reed. I actually have that video if you guys go back and look at my channel, but that was back when that Ed Reed was going for about 400,000 coins. So with an investment of about 7,500 coins, I made over 400,000. Well, actually, I ended up selling it for more like 325 because I waited too long. But that's another story. Anyways, though, the, the point that I'm trying to make is that everybody remembers that time that they opened up something really good. And you know why they remember that? Because it almost never happens. <laughs> I mean, it's like a gambling addict who can't leave the slot machine. Sooner or later, the house always wins. And if you keep opening packs and you keep opening bundles, EA is going to take every dime that you have. So my number one most important rule to making coins in Madden is that you need to just keep the damn coins that you have. I feel like I've done a really good job of that personally by sticking to this rule because if you see in my most recent lineup video, you're probably going to notice that I don't have a 99 overall team. I have like a 600,000 coin team or something along those lines, maybe a, maybe closer to 700,000. But my team's only like 93 overall. And while I have some really, really good players, I know that I don't need an all 99 squad to compete. It obviously helps to have a stacked lineup, but generally speaking, if I'm gonna win or lose a game, it's mostly gonna come down to my decision making and my, and my stick skills, not the players that I'm using. So again, number one most important rule, be conservative, try to keep the coins that you can, make upgrades in small areas, don't spend all your coins on one card. Now, my number two way of making coins in Madden Ultimate Team is that you have to be willing to grind out the solo challenges. I know they can be boring and annoying and they don't make very many coins at, at once, but they're usually pretty easy. And if for some reason you're having a problem winning your solo challenges, check out the video I did a few weeks back where I explained an easy way to win every single solo challenge on Madden Ultimate Team using only one play. In fact, if you're interested, 
click on the annotation right on your screen right now and you'll be taken right over to that video. So once you've got that play down, you will really not have any excuses to not grind out the solo challenges. And I'm living proof that it works. I've done hundreds of solo challenges at this point, and I've made hundreds of thousands of coins by doing them. And you can too. In fact, if you look at just the postseason solo challenges alone, you can make 20,000 coins per schedule. And there are eight teams. So that's a total of 160,000 coins just off of playoff solo challenges. Then there are hundreds of regular season solo challenges as well. Each group of those will earn you over 10,000 coins, plus a jumbo coin pack that typically contains another three to 5,000 coins, somewhere in that range. Sometimes you get a 7,500 coin pack, and there are even some huge rewards that you can get from those packs. I've seen people pull 10,000 coins, I think 25,000. I mean, you can get some serious coins if you get lucky. But even if you don't get lucky, you're still gonna get well over 10,000 coins, plus the jumbo coin pack. All in all, there are literally millions of coins to be made simply on solo challenges in this game. And guys, that's how I've made the vast majority of the coins for my team. It's the slowest way to make coins, but it's also the easiest way, and I highly, highly recommend that you haven't, if you haven't done a bunch of solo challenges, go in there and do the solo challenges. It's well worth your time. Now, the number three way that I've made coins in Mutt is actually in coin games or wager games. And this one's a relatively new one to me because I've only been doing them for about a week now. But even in that short period of time, I've made well over 100,000 coins of profit on wager games. Now, admittedly, this one does take a little bit more skill than some of the others because it actually does take some talent to beat people in these coin games. But I'm explaining it to you because that's how I made my coins. So I have to include it. If you're unfamiliar with the term coin games or wager games, think of it kind of like a bet. Imagine you and I playing against one another, and each one of us is gonna put something like a card or a certain amount of coins up for grabs. And the winner of the game gets the entire pot. Sometimes people play for a couple thousand coins, sometimes it's 10,000, 100,000 coins. I've even seen people play for as much as a million coins before. So as you can see, this is actually the quickest way to make a, a ton of coins in Madden, but it's also by far the riskiest. So in my opinion, you're going to want to build up your roster with good quality cards before you start playing wager games, even if you're good at the game. Because from my experience, you're typically going to be going up against people that have at least a 95 overall team, so you want to be prepared for that. Practice, practice, practice. Play solo challenges, test yourself against users in the head-to-head -head seasons, and then go play some coin games. Don't jump in head first and be the guy who loses all of his coins because he's overconfident. Now the fourth and final way that I made coins in this game is a little bit tougher to explain. I call it make yourself useful. And what I'm saying is that there are people who have so many coins in this game that they practically don't even know what to do with them. But those people still have things that they want or that they need. So again, make yourself useful. My example, for those of you who are unaware, is that I'm a graphic designer by trade. My full-time job is in the design field. So how can I translate that into Madden? Well, if you take a look at the YouTube channels of Wiza, XRyan915, London RTR, Chase Plays Madden, and Josh Norton22, you'll see how. Because I actually designed the YouTube banners for all of those guys. And all five of them compensated me with Madden Ultimate Team coins. So that's a simple way that I made coins. I used a skill that I already had to make myself useful to other people and we exchanged coins for my skills. So, what can you do to make yourself useful? Is it graphic design for you? Or maybe you're somebody who knows how to make beats on your computer. Why not offer them to a YouTuber in exchange for some coins? Let them use them on, a, on their videos and then you get something out of it as well in the form of coins. Or maybe you set up a service on Twitter where you're kind of like the middleman to trades on the Ultimate Team community. Each guy sends you the card that they're gonna trade and say 5,000 coins. You make sure that the card gets to the right person, and then your profit at the end of it is 10,000 coins. Really simple, something that anybody could do. I mean, this is just an idea off the top of my head. I'm sure that other people are doing this on Twitter and on YouTube and all these different services. But my point that I'm trying to make is that there are literally endless ways that you can make yourself useful. 
And if you can't think of anything that you don't already know how to do, then now is the time to go out and learn a new skill. You might find something that you're going to love doing and it could end up being your job for the next 40 years. So to recap the four main ways that I made coins in Madden Ultimate Team this year. Number one, keep your damn coins. Don't go out and spend all of them. Number two, solo challenges. Number three, coin and wager games. And number four, make yourself useful. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. And of course, be sure to let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Check back tomorrow because I'm going to have some fun gameplay because I actually was in a really close wager game that I played and I'm planning on uploading that tomorrow. So I think you guys are going to enjoy that one. Thank you guys for watching today's video and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.